Howdy, thanks for joining us for Daily Devotions. Uh, we're going to be reading from the writing section of the Treasury of Daily Prayer today. Now, normally this is uh, church fathers, a reserve for them. Um, sometimes Martin Luther or something like that. Well, very often Martin Luther. Today's, though, is Bo Geertz, who is a Swedish Lutheran theologian and an author as well. Interestingly, some of the things he wrote is very uncommon in the realm of theology, and that is uh, Bo Geertz wrote novels. Uh, three of them, three kind of mini novels we read at the seminary, and they're compiled in a book called The Hammer of God. Uh, but this is a, a segment from one of those novels, and in it, Pastor Fridfelt is a young pastor, uh, and he's meeting his superior for the first time, uh, who's not named here. I forget what the guy's name is. But uh, there's just this conversational exchange between the two of them as young Pastor Fridfelt meets uh, an older, more experienced pastor with whom he's going to be working for the foreseeable future. Anyway, without further ado, I just want you to know from the beginning, sir, that I'm a believer, the young Pastor Fridfelt said to the older pastor. So you're a believer. I'm glad to hear that. What do you believe in? Fridfelt stared dumbfounded at his superior. Uh, but sir, I'm simply saying that I am a believer. Yes, I hear that, my boy. But what is it that you believe in? Fridfelt was almost speechless. But don't you know, sir, what it means to be a believer? That's a word which can stand for things that differ greatly, my boy. I ask only what it is that you believe in. In Jesus, of course, answered Fred Felt, raising his voice. I mean, I mean that I've given him my heart. Do you consider that something to give him? By this time, Fred Felt was almost in tears. But, sir, if you don't give your heart to Jesus, you can't be saved. You're right, my boy. And it's just as true that if you think you're saved because you give Jesus your heart, you will not be saved. You see, my boy, he continued reassuringly, as he continued to look at the young pastor's face, in which uncertainty and resentment were shown in a struggle for the upper hand, it is one thing to choose Jesus as one's Lord and Savior, to give him one's heart and to commit oneself to him, and that he now accepts one into his little flock. It's a very different thing to believe on him as a redeemer of sinners, of whom one is chief. One doesn't choose a redeemer for oneself, you understand, nor give one's heart to him. The heart is a rusty old can on a junk heap. A fine birthday gift indeed. But a wonderful Lord passes by and has mercy on the wretched tin can, sticks his walking cane through it, and rescues it from the junk pile and takes it home with him. That is how it is. This is interesting coming the next day after our uh, our devotion from Proverbs on if your enemy's hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. Bo Geertz gets at uh, an important concept here that it's not that we do God such a favor of offering our heart to him uh, and, and isn't that a wonderful gift, he says sarcastically. No, it's a rusty old tin can and the Lord in his grace passes by, picks up the can from the junk heap and takes it home with him. We can spend our lives in thankfulness that the Lord has rescued us from the junk heap and that he uses us as his instruments to rescue others as well. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you're, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from the junk heap by rescuing us through his death and resurrection. We ask that you would help us to uh, rescue others well use us to rescue others as well. Use us to share with them the good news that their sins are forgiven through Jesus Christ and help us to um, teach them to trust in his name as well so that we can all enjoy eternity in our true home with you. We ask all of it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today. You all have a good one.